In this quick video, I'll show you how to set up and customize your very own AutoCAD template with a title block. To get started, let's go up here and make a new drawing. I recommend you use the template that you're most familiar with. I'm just going to use the ACAD template. Hit open. Now immediately you notice this is saved as a DWG. So we're going to make a few changes to this and then we'll see how to save it as a template. Just to show how a template works, we'll start by making some changes to the model space. Go up here to text and just drag a box somewhere and let's put the word test in here. So now that we've made a change to our model space, let's say this is a template just to see how that works. So to do that, go up here to the A and then go to save as and you're gonna save it as a drawing template. And just save it with the rest of the templates here and we'll call it template example. When you hit save, it's gonna ask you for some options. We can just leave all that alone for now and then hit okay. Now this is currently saved as a template. If we look up here at the top, it says DWT. Now, if we create a new file, we can use this as the basis for that new file. So let's try that. Go to new and you should see your new template in here, template example. And if we hit open, we start out with what we were just looking at but now it says drawing DWG. So now that we understand how a template file actually works, let's make some changes so that our template file is actually useful. So you can do things like put in your layer properties or your dimension styles or anything that you commonly set in AutoCAD. One thing we can also do is go into paper space and we can set up a title block. Let's start by making some changes to the interface and we can save those out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some layers. So let's go up here to layer properties and we'll just put in a few common layers like object. We'll make one called hidden. We'll make one called center. And let's set these up with our custom colors and line types. So for the center line, I'm gonna make those a light blue color. And for the hidden line, I'm gonna make those kind of a, a lighter gray color. And then I'm gonna set this um, line type to dashed. So right now there's nothing in here. We have to hit load. And I like to use the hidden 0.5. just a little more dashes. We can click that and hit okay. And then we'll set the center line, hit load. Again, I'm gonna use the 0.5. If you wanna load them all at the same time, you can also do that by hitting control A and you can load everything in here. But now you have to choose from all these. Okay, so I've got those set. So now if I were to draw some lines, there's a, a center line, there's a hidden line, here's my object line. We can also make changes to things like your annotation styles and your dimension styles. So if we go in here, we can choose a standard and we can add some. So we'll go to manage dimension styles and I'm gonna to go to new. We'll just call it copy a standard. And I'm gonna make some really obvious changes here like the arrow size, we'll make the arrow size two inches for example. And you can make any changes you want in here. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now you can see the arrows are ridiculously big. I'm gonna hit close. So now if I put a dimension on using my new crazy arrows, there those are. And that is also gonna be saved with my template. So now I'll delete all this junk that's in here. So I can save this as my new template. My template file, drop this down. 
There it is. Say yes. Say okay. And now if I do a new file and I pull up my template example, I have all of my parameters in here. Now we probably also want to put a title block in here. So to do that, we have to go into paper space. So let's go to layout one. And the first thing you want to do is set this up for your particular printer. So to do that, go down here to layout and right click, and then you're gonna look for Page Setup Manager. In Page Setup Manager, you can do a new one or modify, but I'm just gonna modify Layout 1. And for your printer, if you are working on an actual physical printer, you can choose the printer you have hooked up to your machine. But if you're gonna create PDFs, a really good option to use is DWG to PDF.PC3 and that will set it up for a standard eight and a half by 11 paper and it'll print it in landscape. So we don't have to change anything else here, hit okay and hit close. Now, when you do that, we can see it sets up this viewport for us automatically. So easiest thing to do here is just make your view viewport as large as it will go without getting to the edge of the page because it will print Autodesk student around these edges so you need to allow some room for that. Now, if we want to draw a title block, we can get out of our viewport and I can just draw over top of my viewport in the paper space. Now we want to make sure that we're in paper space. So if we double click inside of the viewport, it becomes thick. So we would be drawing in model space. Now, if I double click on the paper, I'm in paper space now. Now, if I pull up the commands, you could also use M space or P space to switch back and forth. So we'll just draw a super simple title block here. You can just use regular line tools. I'll just put a rectangle here and then we'll put some text in here and we'll call it example block. And remember, you can put anything you want in here. You can put a logo or make this as complicated as you want. We're just keeping it simple today. Hit close text editor. And then you're going to want to set all of this on its own layer. Let's go to layer properties. And we're going to make a new layer. Call it title block. And one trick is if you put a Z in the front of it, it will keep that at the bottom of your list alphabetical. So you don't have to mess with that. So we'll set all of this to our new layer called Z title block. So this is our new template. So I like to just move everything where it should be, make it look nice. You can move your model space around and that looks good. So I'm going to save this as my new template. I'm going to go save as template, choose my template example, hit save and say yes. Oh, I still have it open. Save as template. The template example. Yes. I want to replace it. Say okay here. And now if I want to use this new, here's my template example. And now if I look in here, I can see that I have all of my line types. If I go to layout, there's my title block. And now we can print. So here we're looking at a simple part I drew in the template we just created. Now you can see I'm missing a hidden line here, but because I created those in my template, they're sitting there for me to use and I don't have to create that layer. So I can just draw the line and trim it off. Now I'm also missing some dimensions. So again, because we already set up our dimensioning style, if I go in here, there's my copy of standard and I can use that one with the giant sized arrows. So there we go. And you could save that to any type of style you like. So now that we have our drawing done and we want to print it, I can go to layout 
And if I double click inside the model space, I can move the model around to where it looks good. Now, if you just scroll your middle mouse wheel, you can get the scaling close to where it needs to be. And if you look down here in the corner, we can see we're about one half scale. If you're very close to a common scale, just use that scaling factor and print it from that scale. If you need to set a custom scale, you can also do that. Come in here, go down here to custom, and you can create your own custom scale. I'm just gonna set it to that one half scale and we can print it. So from here, I have my scale properly set. I can just hit control P and I don't have to change anything in here because I've already set it up in our template. I can just hit okay, save it to my desktop. And here is our final version of the part. So we can see my title block came through. I left a little bit of room on the edge for this Autodesk student banner and my part is to the proper scale. So hopefully that was helpful. Go through and set up your own template with all your settings and just know that you can always make changes to it as you go. Thanks, see you next time.